favorite ko yan nung nag-work ako dito kasi lagi kami nakakuha ng libre. Libre! <laughs> Marcel Talk. Charot. Only in Texas. Alright you guys, nandito tayo sa JW Marriott kung saan ako nag-work before nung lumipat ako in 2016. It's 2021. I've been here for five years na. So if you can see yung restaurant na yung corner, dyan ako nag-work before, dyan ako nag-internship for one year. So yeah, hindi ako pwede pumasok ngayon kasi nga spring break and yung mga katrabaho namin before, yung mga chef, co-workers, co-interns. Wala na sila dyan. Lumibat na sila. So, wala na akong kakilala. But yeah, this is it. Dito ako nag-work for one year, you guys. This is it. This is where I worked before, you guys. Corner restaurant. Burger bar. Favorite ko yan nung nag-work ako dito kasi lagi kami nakakuha ng libre. Libre! <laughs> Bawal sabihin libre, but it's true and they have the best chicken sandwich and yeah it's like a fast food chain so that's it <laughs> this is it ito na ang jw hotel we stayed here for five days before coming lumipat sa aming apartment. So we were able to experience this amazing hotel. <laughs> All right. Marcel Talk. <laughs> Thank you guys. This is Lady Bird Lake. This is my favorite spot. And remember before, na nagbabas pa ako, I would walk from all the way there. Then, grabe naman yung all the way there. Minsan lang yun. <laughs> May bus stop naman doon. Mas madalas. <laughs> Mas madalas. Pero itong trail na to dito, if you can show them. Yan. Favorite ko naman ni Lalakad kahit na hindi ako papunta ng work. Kasi maganda siya. Pang exercise. ba? So this is Austin, Texas, you guys. This is Austin downtown. And sobrang enjoy ako dito. I love it here. Hey, question one, one, one. So first question. I, I, Ano yung nakapag-career like sa'yo? Naiwan mo yung career mo sa Philippines and mag-stay na dito sa United States. Siguro yung baby ko talaga kasi at first, plano ko lang naman was one year when I did my internship. Tapos nalaman ko magiging mommy na ako, I had to make a decision na either family or career. And of course, sinacrifice ko yung career ko so I could have my own family because lumakay ako na wala akong, you know, from a broken family and I've always dreamt of having my own. So, prioritize ko talaga yun. That's why I decided na titira na ako sa America kahit na hindi ko pa alam kung anong gagawin ko sa buhay ko. <laughs> Wait, what is the biggest challenge you face? No, let's start ka pa lang. Para akong kawawa, api-apihan. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko na-experience yun dati na, alam mo yun, nasanay ako na sa akin nag-cater yung tao. Not that I'm spoiled or anything, but, you know, syempre, pag celebrity ka, may mga perks ka na nakuha, you know? And nasanay ako na people are, they cater to me. Pagdating ko dito, ako yung nag-cater sa tao because nag-work ako sa loob ng kitchen. And then, I guess, not having my own family here, sobrang naging struggle sa akin yun because sanay ako yung Filipino culture na, Growing up, lumakay ako kasama ko yung grandparents ko, my titos, my titas, my cousins, and then nakita ko paano sila magpalaki ng bata. And here, I really just, you know, raised Anika on my own with Troy. His parents live three hours away from us. So, you know, pinakamahirap talaga for me. I actually suffered from PPD, postpartum depression, kasi, you know, my mom wasn't here, my sister wasn't here. So, feeling ko talaga, kulang ako ng, ano alam yun, yung human interaction, because it was just me and Anika, and then Troy was going to work. So, yun yung pinakamalaking challenge talaga na napagdaan ako 27 and 2018. And then, na conquer ko naman yon and then in 2018 yun na nga while I was away my dad passed so sobrang struggle sa akin yung first two years when I lived here 2016 hindi ko masadong na feel just because I was working in the kitchen wala ako masadong time para madepress but yeah 27 2018 yung yung mga struggling years ko but you know madami ako na tutunan and it made me a stronger person 
So, ano yung mga advice mo sa, sa mga babaeng? Gusto maging independent katulad mo? Honestly, siguro, first thing is, kailangan mo ng clarity. Know kung ano talagang gusto mong gawin sa buhay mo. And I think, the biggest advice I could give is, take risk. Kasi for me, yun, nag-take ako ng risk to, you know, leave my comfort zone. Like, I never thought na, hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko dito sa America when I moved here. Honestly, like, hindi ako kagaya ng iba na, I have to plan ahead. Which means, and meron din namang downfall, hindi ka nagpa-plano. But, you know, ang lagi ko mantra is, I will always find the way na kung hindi ko alam, I will figure it out. And that's how it is with life. Like, everything in life, you can figure it out, you know? So, I think, pinaka-blessing sa akin was to really go all in, leave my comfort zone, and honestly, kung hindi ako umalis sa Philippines, I don't think magiging yung growth ko. I don't think as a person would be like this kasi parang nasa little bubble lang ako when I was in the Philippines. Celebrity, ito lang ginagawa ko. I didn't know na kaya ko pa palang i-ex expand yung sarili ko to personal development, being an entrepreneur, being a fitness coach. And now, kahit hindi na ako artista, I'm inspiring women worldwide by helping them through fitness, by helping them have their own business, you know? And I'm so happy na nagawa ko yun through my experience living here. So again, just stay Chris, know kung ano talagang gusto mo, and it's consistency. Like, kung may gusto kang gawin sa buhay and dream mo talaga siya, you just have to be consistent with it. It's not gonna happen overnight, but you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, then no one else will believe. Guys, sa 6th Street, ito ang ultimate gimmickan. <laughs> Driscoll Hotel. When we were here, nung first year ko, grabe, sa gabi, Sarado lahat to, Low Street, may mga kabayo. <laughs> Nakasakay ang mga pulis sa kabayo, okay? Only in Texas. And itong buong strip na to, puro gimikan, okay? Bars and pubs. We're gonna go to Voodoo Donuts! Vegan donuts for Troy and Anika. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng support nyo. I will see you guys next week.